COVID-19, potential treatments number one, hydroxychloroquine. I'm Dr. Andy Thompson. There are a number of potential treatments actively being used and in research for COVID-19. These include hydroxychloroquine or chloroquine, tocilizumab, also known as Actemra in severe cases, remdesivir, an antiviral made by Gilead, is investigational but has shown some promise. Others in development or in research include monoclonal antibodies, receptor decoys, and potential vaccines. Hydroxychloroquine is also known as Plaquenil. It's a prescription medication that's widely available. It comes in 200 milligram tablets. Chloroquine is not available in Canada as of 2019. Hydroxychloroquine is a well-tolerated medication. If you want more information on hydroxychloroquine, please visit roominfo.com. There are two theories why hydroxychloroquine may work to inhibit COVID-19. Number one, it interferes with replicase, which is an RNA polymerase via zinc transport into cells. Number two, it interferes with heme binding, resulting in fewer free radical iron ions released and a reduction in inflammation. Going back to your grade 10 biology, you realize that DNA codes for all the proteins in the body. Now it does this by making a template of itself through RNA, which is transported into the cytoplasm, and then using the ribosomes, it creates proteins. The novel coronavirus is an mRNA. This is a schematic of the virus, okay, with its uh, outer layers, its spike-like uh, polysaccharides, and then on the inner aspect is the mRNA. The problem is our cells don't have a way to copy RNA. So how does this virus copy itself? Well, the novel coronavirus creates its own copier. It binds on to an ACE2 receptor on the surface of cells. Through this, it's able to enter the cell. The RNA is released, and it uses the cell's own machinery the ribosomes, which scan the RNA and make proteins. One of the proteins that it makes is something called an RNA polymerase or a replicase. This is a very smart little uh, enzyme, which scans the viral RNA as well and allows it to replicate or reproduce and create copies of itself. What happens next is the infected cell dies and the viral proteins are released to infect other cells. How does hydroxychloroquine work? Well, hydroxychloroquine, the first theory, is it's an ionophore. And this is something on the surface of a cell which catalyzes the transport of an ion such as zinc across the surface of the cell. So zinc is transported through these ionophores into the cell and it binds onto the RNA polymerase. And this prevents the virus from reproducing. The second way hydroxychloroquine is postulated to work is in red blood cells. We've got a molecule called hemoglobin, which contains a porphyrin ring with an iron in the middle. The COVID-19 virus binds on to the porphyrin and displaces the iron. Now the iron that's displaced is a very potent inflammatory molecule. It upregulates two things, one called IL-6, another one called CRP, and they're very potent inducers of inflammation. This makes this is what makes you feel really unwell when you have the flu. Ferritin, another molecule upregulated, binds onto the iron to try to mop it all up. Hydroxychloroquine, our little gold star here, enters the cell. It also binds on a porphyrin. And by doing so, it inhibits the ability of the COVID virus to displace the free iron. The dose that has been used to treat COVID-19 is 400 milligrams twice a day for the first day, and then 400 milligrams once a day for the next four days. This should only be prescribed by an experienced health professional. There's no evidence to suggest taking this before you're infected will be of any benefit. Again, if you want more information on hydroxychloroquine, you can visit my website, roominfo.com. Remember, stay safe and stay home.